by America's favorite vacation company. Hey there, welcome everybody. Hi, Evolution family. Today it's Thursday, October 1st, a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I know we usually do Geos for Geography today, but we have an important update from Carnival Cruise Line that you need to know about. We have Susie here and also Peggy Hape, the cruise coordinator, is on the phone. Now, I really need you to pay attention to this because this is going to affect your bookings for the next several months. So I'm going to go through this letter and then what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to show you the options that you can offer your clients, and then we're going to show you how we're going to resolve these issues, okay? All right, so let's just hold on to your seats. You're going to want to grab a piece of paper, a pen, or a pencil, because like I said, this information is very, very important. You all should have received this letter, but we're going to go through it, you know, paragraph by paragraph, all right? And I don't care if we go over and stuff, because this is important. I don't want to rush through this and then you guys get confused. So let's just go through it, all right? Dear Carnival Cruise Line guest, all right, we continue to work our plans for our return to sailing, but in light of the CVC's extension of its no-sale order until October 31st, we know there continues to be uncertainty and questions, especially as we look towards the end of the year and sailings in the holiday season. We want to make you aware that today we have notified guests booked on all cruises between November 1st and December 31, 2020, out of all U.S. home ports except Port of Miami and Port Canaveral, that their voyages will be canceled. Okay? So that means Los Angeles, uh, um, Galveston. Galveston, you name it. Since New Orleans, New Orleans they're all closed. closed. Since, Since you are booked at Baltimore, 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 there's another one. Since, Since you are booked on a car, uh, on a cruise in this time frame from Port of Miami, Port Canaveral, we want you to know what this means to you. Throughout this pause, we have said that our return to operations will be gradual and phased in. When the time is right, we are able to resume cruising. We plan on starting up our operations initially from Port Miami and Port Canaveral. Further, we realize this impacts holiday plans, including those booked out of my Port Miami and Port Canaveral. Therefore, we allow guests booked on cruises operating from Port Miami and Port Canaveral in November and December to voluntarily cancel their cruise and receive the same offer that our guests are receiving. Let's go to the next one, please. You are not obligated to make an immediate decision as we have not canceled your sailing. However, in the event you do not wish to wait for us to finalize our plans, we are providing two options for you, including a bonus value incentive package that has been proven very popular with our guests. We hope you are able to rebook your vacation using our enhanced value offer, providing a significant onboard credit for use on any future cruise through April 2023. We have fully automated your ability to make your choice online, avoiding the need to call us, whether purchased directly from Carnival or from a travel agent. You can submit your request via online tool, which will also allow for faster processing. Calling us will not expedite your request. If you book through a travel advisor, they are also fully equipped to help you submit your request and rebook another vacation with future cruise credit. This letter says supersedes any previous offer you received. Let's go to the next one. Okay, these are the options. Now, listen, okay, these emails have also gone to your clients. So make sure you check with your clients. Don't be starting to mess around with these book, you know, make, just check in with your clients. That's number one. Find out what options they want. All right, Peggy, you want to talk about the options? They're basically offering two options on cruises that are six days or more option number one which is the enhanced value you have a hundred percent future cruise credit plus a six hundred dollar onboard credit as long as the booking is done no later than may 31st 2021 they can also opt for a full refund. The second part of it is on five days or less. Again, they have a $100 future cruise credit 
with a $300 per cabin onboard credit, or of course, they're going to be offered a full refund. You always want to try and remove their sale date so they can take advantage of the future cruise credits, which is going to be a better option for the client versus just the refund. Now, what this means here is that your clients have until, until May 31st of 2021 to make their decision. So they don't need to rush into this. And, and I would really highly recommend that you sit down with, we're gonna have this information in the Travel Cafe, but I would have this like maybe printed out somewhere, like you know maybe copy it out of the Travel Cafe and put it as a, so you can show it to your client and say, here are your options, you know? All right, um, do you want to add anything to that, Susie? I just, I think Carnival is being very upfront about this and I'm not sure the other cruise lines are gonna follow suit, but I'm assuming that's, this is probably gonna be the norm for, for the remainder of the year. Right. But I would not wait until May 31st to have your customer make a decision because again, remember, when these go back into operation, they're still not gonna be at 100%. So capacity is gonna still be limited. So don't wait till the midnight hour to do this because maybe the sailing that, that they're wishing to go on may be full. So just keep that in mind. Try to keep your customer informed, keep in touch with them. Carnival's making a very good offer. This is a $600 onboard credit and a $300 and either a 100% refund. But I would suggest if you can, most people who wanted to sail in November or December certainly are having a more positive outlook on what's going to happen. So I would keep that positivity going and try to keep their interest and yeah. make it, this is a really good offer Carnival's making and I it think is. this is, they're doing the best they can under the circumstances. Right, but you know, you know, a lot of this is gonna rely on you guys. I mean, it's you that have to get out there and contact your clients. Now, we're still trying to be very positive, hoping that, yes, you know, the CDC, uh, you know, guidelines saying that it, it ends October 31st, hopefully, maybe, you know, they're saying that they're gonna try to get cruises out out of Port Miami and Port Canaveral. We're hoping that the other cruise lines will follow suit. We just don't know, everything's still uncertain. Remember I told you in the beginning of the week that it might change by Thursday and Friday? Well, today's Thursday and here we have this issue. I wanna continue reading the rest of this letter. Let's go to the next uh, PowerPoint slide, please. Okay. Please make your selection using our online tool here. There is no need to call, and unfortunately, given the high volume of bookings impacted by these cancellations, go, wait, can you, there you go. By these cancellations, coupled with our con contact center employees working remotely, hold times are much longer than during normal operations. Whichever option you select on this form will apply to all guests on your reservation. While your cruise remains in place and your reservation is active, the online system has been programmed to accept your request, so you prefer to make a decision now. Otherwise, you're free to wait until a later date. Choosing or waiting uh, will not impact the compensation offer. But here is the thing. If you're gonna work with, please work with your client on this. Don't let your client do this. Click on the tool here and they put in the wrong information or they mess it up. Because that's where it's gonna be really hard to get it fixed. Because they're saying not to call. So make sure and take your time with your client with, on this. When you're working with your client saying, you know what, I wanna do this for you, let me sit down and do it with you. Regardless of the option you choose, your taxes, fees, and port expenses, Carnival Vacation Protection, prepaid uh, gratuities, pre-purchased Carnival Shore excursions, beverage, and Wi-Fi packages, fun shop purchases will automatically be refunded to the original form of payment. If you purchase your own flights for getting to your cruise, we encourage you to contact your airline or travel agent about your options as the airlines are working to accommodate their passengers. That's a big one. <laughs> we continue to work with the industry and regulators on the and the procedures that will guide our operations that we can resume sailing. Information is available at the link below, and there's the link, and we will continue to keep this page updated with the latest news and additional information about our operations. The next one, please. I want to reiterate uh, the health and safety of our guests, crew, and communities we serve remain the cornerstone of our plans and decisions. I must acknowledge that we are grateful for the patience and support of our guests, which has been a huge motivation to our team as we have worked through this unprecedented situation. Thank you, Christine Duffy, President, Carnival Cruise Line. So, okay, now, 
don't freak out about this letter, all right? Because you guys are going, oh, okay. But get in contact with your clients first. That's what you should be doing first, right, Susie? Yeah, and also know that um, Carnival also, if your customers filled on their onboard registration or you provided an email address um, in their booking, Carnival will contact your customer because their responsibility is also to make sure, besides you as the agent, that their customer is kept in the loop here. So please don't take offense that Carnival's not trying to take your customer. They're right. just trying to to step up in front here to get your customer um, notification because we understand and so does Carnival that maybe you don't always have immediate time to take care of something like this. So a lot of you might read this today but maybe not do anything till tomorrow or Saturday. In the meantime, your customer's probably already got an email. So right. don't be ahead of the game, don't be behind the game because Otherwise, your customer is going to think, how come I know this and you don't? Right. Okay? All right. Now, now I'm going to give you some... Now. Thank you. I receive the cancellation notices. I will be forwarding them out to you so that you will have the same information that your client has received. Good. Okay. I want to go to the next slide. Now, you need assistance with this. Um, and here we go to the next, all right. If you need assistance for this, email only. No phone calls on this. We're getting inundated and, and with other stuff and we really can't look into all these things. So you can contact Peggy. There's Peggy's email, peggyh at archertravel.com. She's the cruise coordinator and the group cruise coordinator. Contact Susie at archertravel.com and Violet at archertravel.com. Those three emails will handle your questions about this, the status of these issues that we're talking about today. Okay? Um, Peggy, you want to add anything else? I can't think of anything else right at the moment. Okay, great. You guys, we're going to try to update you. As soon as we get the information, this came down this morning. After I got done with the morning briefing, she, I was driving and Peggy called me and said, and I went, oh no, after I just said that maybe... <laughs> November 1st, we might be able to do something. You know, we might be cruising again. Um, we're going to monitor this every day. We're going to try to get this information to you as quickly as we can. Uh, be patient with us and be patient when you need assistance with us. But we will get back to you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Now, and with that being said, I'm going to leave this. And thank you, Miss Peggy. Thank everyone. you, Peggy. All right. And we're now going to do. Uh, thank G you G all. G is for geography. Take and care. All right. Talk to you. Thanks, Peggy. All right. And now Miss right. Miss Susie's going to come over here. We're going to switch hats. We're going to here. Let me go first, and then she's going to go in. And we have that go. Okay. Or you need this. I'm all good. Oh, you good? Okay. Yeah, I'm jumping in my seat. The hot seat. Oh, I know. I, we, Here we go. Um, <laughs> this was this was a, a travel tip of the day. Okay. Attention all evolution agents when calling a supplier or cruise line. Remember to take down the name of the customer service web you're working, talk, talking to or you're working with. And also, take down their name, what time you talk to them, and the date. So if we have to go back and go to bat for you, we've got some ammunition to help you out. So again, name, date, time. Okay. Let's go to the next one. You can just say that. Amanda said, she said, can, can you close the kitchen door? And I went, yeah, that's all right. Um, evolution <laughs> agents, uh, okay, as these cruise lines happen, you know, really find out where to find a COVID test. You know what? We were talking about this yesterday. I mentioned it in the morning about how the airlines are starting to offer that. Right, for and, a cost. And for like $250. And then how the airports are starting to do that. Uh, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Okay, first of all, very quickly, we want to say hi to everybody and thank you for coming to join us today. I don't know if we have any names up here. We'll do that really quick. But this was a really important piece of information we wanted to make sure that you as agents had with Carnival. We work really hard here, just like you do, to make sure that you keep updated so we can help you keep your customer and keep your sales going. So thank you very much. And again, like Jose said, if you have any questions, you know, let us know we're here to help you. We are on your side here, so that's what we are, your team, okay? Hi to everybody. Jose, Hello. say hi to somebody. Oh, okay. here, here some, uh, here's some folks here. Anybody. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Ortiz is here, Ms. Fontaine, Courtney Palladino, Cheryl Shires, I spoke to today, um, Rita Lewis, uh, 
Who else? Um, Elizabeth Brandon. Um, and I'll do one more. Let's see. There was one more here. Kara Kurtz. Yay. A new Kara. Thank, Hi, Cara. Is Kara new? Yeah. Welcome, Kara. And I hope you tune in as often as you can. Again, if you can't get us live, remember these are all in your travel cafe right, for a future. Cafe. Um, and if you have time to review them, that's what we're hoping. So we understand you all have other things sometimes, another job. So just know that you have this option for you. And great sale today on these videos, um, on the flash sale. I on hope you guys, sale, yeah. these were beautiful videos. Um, you got to review them today. Amanda, thank you. We reviewed them before we put them out to sale to you. And Amanda did a fantastic job. These are such a great selling tool. So. I thank you all for participating and purchasing them. Okay, we are number five, seven wonders of the world. We're down to number five. And this one we're gonna be doing is India. As you can see where the map, we always do the map of the world. India is over in Asia, in the Asia area. Here we are, India is down in the southern part of Asia. We have Bangladesh, Bhutan, uh, China to the north, Pakistan, Afghanistan. This is a very interesting part of the world, so beside so one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal. Be careful who you send here. This is not for everybody. Okay, again, again, <laughs> again like when we talked about yes, uh, last week about China with air. Right. This is a long flight. It's very long. Uh, you know, whether you're coming from the East Coast or the West Coast, they, they, they do fly out there. But either way, it's going to be 12, 14 hours plus, especially if you have a layover somewhere. So let your clients be aware of that. Add that extra day. If you're doing a seven night uh, FIT tour, you maybe want to add a, a, a day at the at the top of it and the day after because it's going to be it's going to take a lot out of them. Um, let's go to the next slide, please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the map of India. You would fly into either you would fly either into Calcutta, or the main airport would probably be Delhi. There's Old Delhi and New Delhi. We'll talk about that. Um, I don't think that Mumbai has an airport any longer. I'm not sure I would have to check, but the two airports I know for sure would be Delhi and probably Calcutta. This is a very big country. You can see the layout here. Um, you've got the Himalayas to the north, Kathmandu, which is very famous for its mountainous range and a lot of people. The mountain there you've heard, we're climbing to the top of Kathmandu, okay? Um, again, a very spread out country. A lot of different areas here. Mumbai. Um, Mumbai is used to be called Bombay. A lot of people know this. Um, just a little information. Mumbai is the um, former name of um, of Bombay. Um, though Mumbai can feel chaotic and crowded at times, there's very peaceful moments uh, to be found here. The markets and the spirited places to bargain for spices and souvenirs and take a guided tour of, it. the city's called Dafahari. It's made famous by that movie, Slumdog Millionaire, yeah, that's was right. filmed that's there. Right. So for an eye-opening glimpse into what Mumbai life is, for over a million people live in Mumbai. So, now here's, here's the thing, here's my suggestion while we're talking about India, because we never really talk about these, you know, India or Asia or that kind of stuff, but here's the, oh, look who's behind me, going into the kitchen. Hi, Reg. All right, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is when you make this, make it an FIT, do Calcutta, do Mumbai, then do Delhi. You know, take two or three days in each place to really see it, do it a tour. This is a big country. It's huge. So, um, also, possibly, maybe doing an FIT, you might want to do that, but I would highly suggest that you use a tour company. Yep. This is not some place you're going to just tell somebody to rent a car, don't even go there. So, I would say in each city that you decide to do, do a three-day tour with like uh, we have monograms who does this monograms, so you can do three uh, days of, right so uh, pick, yeah pick and choose a couple of the cities that your customer wants to go to and and put together a tour for them don't you know to do some of the highlights oh no oh, no it's him oh it's him it's him it's, <laughs> it's him. raining candy it's raining candy, <laughs> it's raining it, candy. He's, throwing, he's throwing us the chocolate that he who ate. is that <laughs> Who could it be? Is Mr. Archer. Ron Archer, is that you throwing food yes, at me? Yes, it's Mr. Archer. If you hit me, <laughs> come over here. You know what? We get the best of the best. This has been a top day. Wait, I gotta pick up all my candy. You pick it, it'll melt. Okay. 
Guess what? They sold over 100 videos today. Are you happy? Of course he is. Look at him. He Where am I? Oh, there I am. We are next. Me, pink, you, red. <laughs> I brought, I brought, uh... Oh, goodies. Are we selling these? <laughs> part, Three for a dollar. Bless him. <laughs> buy a certificate, buy a video, and get a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> we are highly creative here. Nothing goes by us. <laughs> <Not shipping chocolate. laughs> what are we doing in Mumbai? Mumbai. We're doing India today. Taj Mahal, Mumbai. Because we're doing a, a new series of the seven Cat wonders Man of the world. Do. And this is and, our um, number five. And yeah, this is our number five, which is the Taj Mahal. So we're showing other places in India. So. How come we're not on the, some black sand beach in Hawaii or some all-inclusive in, in We've done in that Cancun. already. Well, I don't want to go to Mumbai. It's too far. Of course but, it's far. Yeah, but you want to see the seven, one of the seven wonders of the world. Let's go to the next slide. <laughs> now he wants us to change it all. All right, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Okay. So the Taj Mahal was a was 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 a, a monument to one of the, you don't. How even long know? did it take to build the Taj Mahal? I want to say it, was it seventy years? Twenty. Twenty years. Oh well, sh short romance. And then another five. Short romance. Well, that was for his favorite wife. He built this after her thirteenth child. I probably would have buried myself <laughs> there too. <laughs> We're 13 kids, wow. <laughs> oh my God, we're getting off track here. I, I, I know. <laughs> Quickly. We, we, we're on a train right now. Okay, the, yeah, the Taj Mahal you know, there, took over there, 20 there, years. There, there, you know, if you look at the Taj Mahal, there are aspects of the Taj Mahal that are very... Never mind. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, the <laughs> top one, it was called the onion tomb. Because oh. it looks like a, an onion. Okay. Okay. It depends how your imagination runs. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what, what else can you teach me today? Okay, well, else I want to teach you. We're going to go ahead. Hey, Reggie doesn't really have a phone call. <laughs> you know, you can swim. <laughs> you can. Ed, I hear a phone ringing. Oh, Mr. Archer, it's for you. Like what? No. Oh, my God. Did you, okay. tell everybody, did you tell everybody that, um, we're, that uh, Mr. Michonne is back? No, we'll tell them. Uh, Dave Mashon is back. Dave Mashon is back. Dave Mashon is back, and uh, you guys know him. If we, for you Australian New Zealand agents that are watching, Dave is back, and he's here to help you and assist you with all your bookings and if you have any questions. So he's back, and you haven't emailed him. <laughs> all right. I need this. It's just, it's just like a, like a, like a monkey cage. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for you know at, at my the, house when when trick Halloween or treat. comes. When Halloween comes, we're getting ready for a pandemic. We're going to make them stand on the street, and we're going to throw it at them. We're just going to we're just going to throw the candy so down they the can street. Have, wait, they can roll down the window, and you can toss. That's right. Here, catch this kid. And we could give them a catcher's mitt to see how good right. they are. We're very innovative so, here. If okay. So what else are we doing? Okay. So what else we're going to tell you is the Taj Mahal was built by 2,200, 22,000 laborers, painters, and embroidered artists. It's more famous for landmark, for a tourist magnet, attracting more than a million tourists every year. That's a lot of people. Look at how beautiful it is. And you use, you, um, the city it's in is Agra. All right, what else do you need to know? It's all built of marble. That, how deep is that pool? Could we go swimming in it? You could, but you know why that pool's there? No. Because at nighttime, the reflection, they did it exactly so in the evening, the total reflection of the Taj Mahal goes onto that water. The front part and the back side has a river, so it turns blue at night, the Taj. Pretty nice, huh? Do well, you want to go here? Look I, at do, how pretty I do it is. now. Look how beautiful it is. So. And this is in Agra. Agra. It's the city. Agra. Agra. That's city. All right, well, I've bothered you enough. I just want to say, say, I want to say hi to everybody. And tell them how much you miss them, and you'll be back. I saw them earlier today. We can never get enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> or, or too much. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. All right. So where were we? Man, okay. now we, we had that big announcement. I'm falling, <gasps> I'm falling up my seat. Now we fell out of the seat. I'm going to tell you something. I really think that one day, because I'm always walking into the starting the briefing report, I know I'm going to trip one day. I know that. Take I a fall. Really you know, it's good. Because right. so we say Delhi. break a leg. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about Delhi. Let's get back nice. on track, okay? We New Delhi. We showed you Mumbai, and now we're in Delhi. Um, Delhi is the capital of India. 
Correct. And there's New Delhi and Delhi the city. Right. Um, so it's in north central India. The city of Delhi actually consists of two components, Old Delhi in the north and the historic city, and New Delhi in the south. Since 1947, the capital of India, it built the first part of the 20th century as the capital of British India. Right. So don't remember, part of that is, is still British, British owned. Um, I just want to tell you, avoid traveling to New Delhi between April and June, as uncomfortable heat is up towards over 40 degrees, or 40 centigrade. So right, right. that's over 90 degrees. Yes, yeah. these places like Mumbai, Delhi, New Delhi, there are a lot of things to see. They have a bunch of... Very historic, and, lots of museums. Lots of museums. Um, you know, we all know, look, at there's a spice market there. Um, shopping here, they've got a lot of open air markets. Uh, as far as eating here is a wonder for sure. Yeah, yeah. For, for and that. each region has a very different type of cuisine. So this is a great place to experience so many. They've got the, the, the Buddha park there. Don't forget there's multiple um, religious cultures in That's India. Right. So they're not all of the same religious culture. So when you go here, you need to be careful about right. where so you're know, at. And yeah, so in other words, you have to work with your clients, know that, that your clients are aware of the customs and traditions of what's going on here, because you don't want your clients to be messed up and then people start getting angry and stuff. These are highly populated areas. I mean, highly really populated. Pop you just figured a million people, there's over yeah. a million people in Mumbai. Yeah, I mean, there's So tons, there's think about so, how many people yeah. there are. So um, let's go to the next slide. Now, what, what we recommend is you would work out of New Delhi and then you would go to Agra. Right. Which is... That's where the Taj Mahal is. So I would say your combination New cities would be New there. Delhi. Here we go. Um, you can do Agra and do the Taj Mahal, I would say maybe for three days there, mm -hmm. then move on to New Delhi and to Mumbai. Um, I would say one or the other. I wouldn't say do both New Delhi and Mumbai. I would say do New Delhi, Old New Delhi, or Old right. Delhi, and then bring yourself back to Agra. Yeah, and, um, and, and there's, a, again, this place has a lot of history, Agra. Uh, it, it just does. It has the Agra Fort that you can spend two days just walking through that. Right. And you have the Taj Mahal. Now, again, you have to be aware when these places are only not only for tourists, a lot of the Indian citizens go to this place and visit it. So you might go one day and it might be packed with people. So you want to pick a good time when to go. Also, um, Jose mentioned earlier to me about the Taj Mahal is open, yeah. but it has limited amount, just like every place else, they're only limiting the amount of people going into the Taj. Yeah. And it's approximately, we said about $20 US. About, yeah, about, it's about $20 US. And if you're going to do this, I would suggest that you do this ahead of time, see yeah. that they are limiting the, the number of people going in. The museums here, um, the history, you know, India has always been a land of mysterious mysteries dating back to centuries ago. Mysteries that lead to questions like um, things that are difficult to explain. I think when people think about India, they think about mystery and phenomena happening here. Look at this picture up there from Mumbai. Here's the picture of Mumbai. Again, the use of water here, people don't really realize um, that it's surrounded by the water and how many of the things were built here, just like the Taj Mahal. There's that body of water behind it, and like Ron said, the, that beautiful pool in front of the Hajj Mahal was made for a reason because at nighttime it reflects like glass, um, the Taj Mahal. And then from the backside, here we go, look at Mumbai, look at all these cars, look at all these buildings. Yeah, these it's are populated huge. cities. This is a this big a city. Now, it's you a see what I mean? Here we go. Look. <laughs> this is what kind of what we're talking about. You need to be careful here. You've got. In the background, you've got beautiful big new buildings and then more toward the interior where, again, these are where these people live. Right. This is what Mumbai looks in the, in the inside of the city where, where most of the people live. There's a lot of manufacturing here, too. Here's, so here's here we new, go. New, new, new Delhi. Yee, good heavens. You know what I love about this country? The colors. Oh, yeah. Look at there's yellow, green, blue, red. They're very colorful here, which makes this really uh, to me it just makes some of the 
the mystery about India. Oh, look at this. Huh? Look at New Delhi. <laughs> look at the people. I here. know. That's probably not happening anymore. Not no, anymore. probably not. But, you know, things. But look at the architecture. And, it's and, spectacular. Know, I mean, you're, you're, these are mind blowing places to go. How to these people, how they did this. Like That's I said, it took over 22,000 labors to build this. Also, the question was about um, it took over a thousand elephants they used to bring all the marble and oh, everything. Good. Sure. So there was over a thousand elephants that were used to, to help make this building. Also, just a little bit of history. Um, Taj Mahal in Persian means crown of palaces because there's a lot of Persian influence here in Agra. So um, that's one of the things that, and it did take 20 years to build, so it's pretty, it's beautiful. Okay. Can, let's it go is. to the next slide. I want to share your perspective. I think I, I got this. Um, Okay, as you can there. see, okay, how big it is compared to, you know, people the perspective, mm -hmm. there, okay? Um, this place gets crowded, so be careful, you know. Um, if you've got clients going to go here, I would definitely get in contact with the Indian Tourism Board and, you know, start sending them emails, and they will email you back when's the best time to go and visit Agra. And don't forget, to, you know, you can send them, you can send them videos, the ones yeah. that we show you here, yeah. to get your people interested in, in this kind of place. So, it's again, it, it, this is one of the seven wonders of the world, and oh, there's, there's okay, no, it's, you can see why. It this is, is the beautiful. This is the interior. There's here. one of the uh, shots of the interior to one of the, it, this is a mausoleum, mm -hmm. and this is the interior, one of the tombs inside of there. So, it is look at the work i mean really look at the beautiful work on here okay we want to go ahead are we going to well, the next I was one gonna, we were going to do a video but to everything else i tell you what you guys i promise you that next week we'll show you this video because we've got room rest training coming up and we want to make sure we've got but, time yeah, because we last year yeah. we can do that if you want yeah, or we'll they can look again. at it we yeah. can look at it another time yeah, we, so, we can do it, so again uh, thank you so much for joining us we got a lot in this time period, we just oh, want here. to make sure. And here's some of the names of the tour companies you can yeah, use. Yeah, here we go. Where you can book India, to Taj Mahal, Agra, India. Uh, you can go to Agent Universe, uh, Mikado, G Adventures, Monograms, Insight Vacations, Globus, See the World Tours, Talk, Mayflower Tours, Big Five Tours, and then uh, they're not listed in Agent Universe, but you guys, several of you guys have used Trafalgar, and they're really good. They're very good, and especially for an escorted. Yeah. If you want something a little bit more high-end and more escorted, I would definitely use Insight, Trafalgar, and I talk. think Talk is, yeah. that's going to be at the very high-end. But, Ventures yeah, would be more use important. for people a little bit, let le need less guidance. Right. They're a little bit more right. well-traveled, and right. they don't need so much. But again, thank you again for all joining us. And we've always had an entertaining day today. So with all the information, you know, just keep going here. Um, we have good news. There's hope on the horizon. 2021 is shaping up to be the year of trips for milestone moments. Makes a comeback similar to the first day of spring after a long winter. It will be time to reconnect and build memories. So remember 2021 is looking hopeful. We're very hopeful here yeah. that things will, when they come back, it's going to be a little bit different, but people are ready to travel. Families are ready to go out and do it, make it happen. And thank you all again. Have a wonderful week. It is October 1st. Happy thank you. October. Happy, Happy October. October. You know if what? you look at Amanda, she's got her pumpkin ears on. Yeah, and you see, and I'm Susie <laughs> Egg, Egg Muller, and she's Jose Lambert. Uh, I'm yeah, always you guys, like, <laughs> you guys put cheats so, on me. So here, but you know what? You know what, you guys, what we were talking about uh, before we came on today is our Halloween show. And you know we always do something really, really special for Halloween, so we're going to have something really, really special for that. And we might even have some drop-in guts, so that's going to be funny. I'm you never know who's going to drop in here. It could be anybody. Right. That's right. All right, you guys, we're going to see you in about uh, two to three minutes with Room Minutes Training. All right? We're Thank you, guys. Live. Have a great week.
following Archer Evolution Travel Training Session has been brought to you by FunJet Vacations, where your clients can buy now and pay later. FunJet Vacations. Okay, everybody. All right, we are back for room rest training, and we have with us um, uh, Linda Lossing. Hey, Linda, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? We're, we're doing really, really good. I, I'm sorry that we had to. Uh, we're running a little bit late today. Is the reason why is we had an important announcement from Carnival Cruise Line that's really going to affect our agents. I'm sure you probably have heard about it. Yeah, I have. So that's great news. Yeah, so I want to welcome everybody back to Back to Basics. Uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago uh, with Linda, and uh, what Linda's going to do is she's going to walk us through uh, another booking that I want you guys to take some really good notes to. I, I really need your help here, you recruiters and sponsors and uplines, when you're bringing in new agents. Refer them to these training videos about how to work room res. We really want them to start using room res and start booking on it. So I really want you guys to get you know get in there and do that. now. Um, Linda, I, I suggested something that maybe what we would do today would be a, a, a much more, a booking that's a little bit more difficult, correct? It's what I'm going to do today is show everyone how, um, how to book an all-inclusive on uh, Archer Evolution Travel Training Session. to step in any time and just ask the questions if you feel it's appropriate um we have i want to go i want to help all of you that are um, uh, participating on this in this meeting because i know it can be a little bit overwhelming when you go from from to a new provider and what we're here to do is really to partner with you and help you through this so uh, uh, jose and amanda i need to see So we're here to support you, and we think we have a great product that can bring revenue and increase your revenue for each of you and your um, agency. So um, with that, let's get started. Okay. Uh, before we start, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Jose. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. So before, um, I just need to point this, because I'm still in, we're still getting questions about the agent ID. And uh, pretty much, you know, every day or every other day we're getting questions. This agent ID up here, you'll see your name, but this is our room res internal number for you. You don't need to worry about it. It's never going to match your Archer ID. Okay, so don't worry about that number at all. So we're, we're good with that. Um, so... I think I went through with all of you or those that were on the call a couple weeks ago the different tabs at the top. So I'm not going to touch on that today. Um, if you have questions, so stop. Well, I'll, I'll answer them um, as Amanda asked me. But let's talk about how to book, how easy it is to book a all-inclusive property and add a transfer and add. Um, uh, an activity on that booking and I'm also going to, you are the first I'm showing it to our new duplicator and the duplicator is a new tool you'll have to, in your pockets that you'll be able to easily repeat making um, the same booking for different dates maybe or if couples are traveling together families are traveling together, how you easily it's going to be so I'm going to show you we just launched it this week Tuesday and um, I'm going to you're the first I'm going to show it to so I'm going to show you that as well but we'll get to that in a little bit so what I decided that we we're going to do is maybe you have book a, a uh, all-inclusive in Cosmel. I'm sure all of you have um, customers that are going to Cosmel or like to go to Cosmel. Let me tell you, if you've never been, it's wonderful. The properties, all-inclusives, range everywhere from three stars to five stars. And um, it's a family oriented as well as couples oriented depending on which property you select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out a little bit because I'm going to want to show you how to hold this booking as well. 
and let's go to 15th of November and we're going to stay for one week, so seven nights. And if you remember last time I told you, you can um, add rooms, you can add children, number of adults in a room, but I'm going to do, say it's just two adults. So I'm going to, we want to go to Cosmel. I don't have a property yet in mind what I want, what I want for my customers. So I'm just going to type in Cosmel. If you knew which property you were looking at specifically, you could type that here as well. So you don't need to, to um, get out the display and then type the prop and look for the property. You could type it here. But I'm going to, I really don't know what my customers are look. I know what they want overall, but I don't know I have a specific property in mind. I'm just going to search Cosmel. Okay, so here we go. So this, the order comes up in the recommend, recommend, recommendation of where you could find the best race and compare them to what you would find on a major online travel agency such as Expedia, Booking.com, etc. So that's what we see. Now remember if I told, a couple weeks ago I told you that you always want to look at booking this rate right here because that is our Archer Travel Negotiator rate and nine times out of ten it'll be lower than what you, your customers or you would see if you went to a major online travel agency. This pays you 10%. Okay, so you know that this is 10%. This is less commission, as you can see. And this is, this inc both rates include taxes. So you don't have to worry about calculating taxes. So this 155 for the Iberia Star, which is a four star property, which is a great property. Let's go down a little bit. We see the Intercontinental. That's not all inclusive. I'm looking for an all inclusive. Um, you can see the difference in rates. And again, these are live rates, so I'm not sure what we're going to see. The Cosmel, uh, Cosmel Palace, all-inclusive, four stars. Um, here's the Grand Park, all-inclusive. The Allegro, all-inclusive. Hey, Linda, um, someone yes. said they looked for one of those properties and it wasn't there yesterday, um, but they see it today now on the, your call. What would they do then? If they didn't see it yesterday and they see it today, they should go in. <laughs> they should go in after our our meeting right now today and go ahead and either hold it or, uh, or book it and confirm it because inventory changes every day. Um, so if the, you didn't see the property yesterday, I'm not sure because we we are adding properties all the time. But I would say, um, you know, it could have happened that we added, you know, a property that you're um, you're looking for yesterday but didn't see it, or maybe you just uh, missed it, whatever it might be. So I'm just going to go down and show you some of these. The rates go all over the place, right? Your secrets, of course, I know secrets is a partner of yours. And here's a Here's the Occidental, which is the also this should be the Ox we let's see if we can find the Occidental Grand. Oh, there it is. Now here's a good example. Occidental Grand, five star property. Your rate that you can offer your customers is $162 per night. Uh, but we haven't picked our room type yet, so maybe you want to upgrade a little bit. So um, but that includes tax. But if your customers or you were to go to a major OTA or online travel agency, they would not have rates available for these days. You're saying, well, how do we have these rates? Remember, our inventory comes from many sources. We have over 500,000 properties, all types. And so this is a good example where here we have a five-star property at a great rate, by the way, that you can offer your clients. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on that rate and let the rates come up. There are all the room types that are available. And what I suggest when you do this, it takes a little couple of minutes, to, or not a couple of minutes, but 30 seconds to load in all the rates. So just wait a second. And then when you're ready, you're gonna scroll down. You can look at the various properties. A beautiful property if you've never had a chance to, to just either see that or see it. It's a wonderful property. It talks about the location, the room types, 
only 247 rooms, which is a rel relatively small property, but again, a five-star, so you're getting five-star treatment. The spa there is phenomenal, so if you ever have a chance, make sure you uh, participate in the spa. And some of the local attractions. So now what comes up is our top three, our top three room rate recommendations. And I'm not going to pick all, uh, any of these because I want to show you something. But you see here, this property also offers, and this is really important, just um, breakfast only, uh, room only. So you, this is just a breakfast only for the entire state of seven nights would be 1076 it is the lowest rate available that we offer for these days, for, as of today at this time. It is, so you can see the lowest flexible rate, which means you can cancel and it'll be refundable. It is a uh, lowest rate and it is offering breakfast. However, we also offer great rate $1,132, all inclusive for a double deluxe. And then, and that includes um, all meals and beverages. And this is a room superior garden view, but it's not refundable. So you can see the big difference. So how can a um, deluxe, double deluxe room, all inclusive, be so much lower than um, a room superior garden view that's non refundable? We get all the promotional rates. So when you see that, this is probably a promotional rate. And what I'm going to show you is if we scroll down further, you'll see there's rates there. And my, my couple was really looking at wanting something a little bit more upscale. So they're looking for a double deluxe, this double deluxe romance package. You can see it's all inclusive. It, you, now remember again, if I said last time, if you, uh, if you don't recall, I'll say it again, is that November 12th is the, you can cancel free this booking. That means, so our dates are, our cancellation dates are in a national, international format. That means, so the month is going to be in the middle. And I know that can be a bit confusing. That's why I always say, if you have any questions, drop us an email, give us a call, and we'll answer them for you. But remember that our cancellation dates are in the middle. Our month is in the, so instead of saying 11, 12, 2020, November 11, it's written in international format, so it's, it is actually 12-11-2020, which means November 12, 2020. Hey, Local hey, hotel Linda, time. Uh, let me, let me just, I, I Over here. Hey, Linda. Sorry. Real, real quick, mm -hmm. you know, that is a really important thing, and you agents should take uh, be very aware of this cancellation dates and go exactly. through the terms and conditions with your client after you've done the booking so they are aware of that and read that, that date correctly. So be aware of that. That can be a little bit tricky. And if you know, and if you've it, got agents that haven't been watching the trainings on room res, and they think, oh, they're going, you know, I have till de December 11th for the cancellation. No, you read it wrong. You read it wrong. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Thanks, Jose. So I'm going to click on show. So you, here, when you see show, in this case, you're going to see that the room um, has four adults. And it can hold up to four adults. I'm sorry, a maximum of four. But since I'm just for two, you can, um, yeah, I'm just going to look for two people today. But it's a king bed. And that's the difference. Uh, you say, well, what is the difference? Is it a double deluxe? I mean, it's, uh, it's a great question if someone thinks that. If you look at a double deluxe, that's going to be two double beds. But your couple wants a king bed. They're what they want, the romance. So that's why you see the king bed right there. And that's the difference. And it may be a little bit more to get that king bed. That's why you see the price difference there. Okay. But before I go down, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom though, because I want to show the fees, because that's really important too when you're booking. So when you're looking booking, um, whether it be in room res or another supplier, you always want to check the fees, what's not included, what is included. All of that is important. Um, of course, we're going to have, and this will all print on your confirmation. And if there's special fees, they'll print on your customer's voucher that will be sent, that it's attached to your confirmation when it's emailed to you after you pay for the booking. So you can check in at this property at the Occidental Grand from 3, from 3 p.m. till midnight. 
if let's say for whatever reason, and this is a good point, if your customers are um, arriving a little bit later, maybe they're arriving at 10 o'clock at night or 10.30 and the flight's delayed a bit, what I suggest, and you say, oh my God, they're not gonna be make the midnight check-in, this is a great time when you're gonna pick up their phone and you're gonna call us and let us know. So we'll get hold of the property and say, say to the uh, front desk, the reception, if you will, and say, we have customers that are, run, are flights running late. They won't be arriving until 1230 or 1 a.m. How do they check in? So then we'll get that information, relay it to you, and then you can text it or email to your clients. So those are the little things we do. We don't want your clients to be stranded at 1230 a.m. and not be able to check into their property. Obviously, uh, they need a government ID and that sort of thing. So here are some special check-in instructions. Everybody in, this cannot be collected at the time of booking. It's collected when your customers check in, so they'll need a credit card for this. Sanitation services are 25.35 pesos per night. If this was during the holidays, New Year's Eve, and Christmas, many properties uh, internationally um, have New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve gala dinners. They would have included that in the price, but this is not during that time frame. We're looking at 15th of November to 22nd of November. Then when you go further down, you'll see optional fees. If you want uh, wireless in your room, there's a fee for your, your customers to pay a fee at check-in they would give a credit card to pay for it. I, or that's what I would say, but we can't collect it up front here. Or if they want it in public areas, this property also charges for that. So after all of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to book this session. So all I need to do is put in my guest first name, which is Walter. Uh, let's make it George. And his wife's name is Mary George. Now, before I do, I have three options. The first thing I do that, I want you to again review the cancellation penalty. You can cancel this booking free of charge until November 13th, 1159 p.m., which is, um, again, going to be Pacific, uh, so this is going to be Central Time, Central Time. So that's what it could, um, yeah, Cosmo's on Central Time, so local hotel time. Now, after, this is an interesting one. After that period, even though the entire booking is $1,317.10, the cancellation on this one is really, I mean, really low. This is what the hotel is charging, so it's not something room res is making up. So this $194.09, is a very low cancellation fee if you were to miss this 11 13 11 59 p.m i have to tell you generally for a property like this you would see full cancellation or at least the first night's day or well, this is the first night's day i think is what pretty much is what they're charging but honestly that this is really a low cancellation fee so be aware of this because many to most times it's going to be much higher that being said, once I get down here, you want you, I get questions about this booking is GST free. Um, the reason you just from like if you're booking in the U.S., you will never pay GST, so you don't need to worry about it. So but I do get questions from Archer agents about that. So don't worry if this if you were booking in other countries and there was GST taxes, then that would be the case. But right now, you don't need to worry about it. It is all inclusive and it talks about the different fees, which we went over previously. So right here, while well, you have three options, you can pay and confirm, okay? You can um, hold a pay later, and hold a pay later because this is a refundable booking. You can hold the booking and guarantee the room and the rate while you're maybe looking, searching some other properties. Uh, for up to 72 business hours or 72 hours or you can create an itinerary and that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create the itinerary. The create itinerary does not guarantee the room and the rate but maybe you want to add another hotel, maybe you want to add an attraction, maybe you want to add a transfer, that's when you would create an itinerary. So what I'm going to do is going to create this itinerary. Simple as that. 
Now remember, I'm not guaranteeing the rate. I'm not guaranteeing anything like that. So here we go. Here is my room. My great rate, seven nights, $1,317 for two people, but a five-star um, property, all-inclusive. So what I can do now, I have several options. My customers really are thinking about adding an act. They like to go and spend a day and do an act, add an attraction or do an, have an activity. So all I need to do is click add attraction to this. Okay, and you can see this number up here, or this itinerary, my itinerary is for Mr. Uh, Mr. George. This is going to be added to my itinerary if I, if I find a selection, I mean an activity that or attraction that is this listed here that I want, might want to do. So, or they might want to do, I should say. So, um, they're going to be there from the 15th to the 22nd of, of November. But what I need, my customers are looking to do something maybe on the 18th or 19th. So, I'm just going to click 18th and 19th, okay? So, I'm going to search attractions. And remember, it's going to be added to my itinerary. You can see it right here. And here come the attractions, or the activities and attractions. Oh, you know what? I know my customers, you can see, you can search by many categories over here. But my customers, I know they talked about doing a Jeep experience. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on see the Cosmel experience by Jeep. If they're adventuresome and they like a little action, I always I would recommend this. This is a great activity. All right, so here we go. So it's for two people, two adults, and total is one eighty three sixty. Now remember, you're earning commission on this as well. So you're going to earn eighteen dollars and thirty six cents on this. And here's describes that if, if you want more information, of course you're going to. I'm just going to and what days of the week it operates. It does not operate on Sunday, but I'm not looking for Sunday. I'm going as I said, I was looking for. Um, middle of the week. So I'm going to book this now. And again, I'm going to remind you, it's going to be added to my itinerary. They're going to go on, the, I think they want to go on the 19th. I don't think they want to go um, at, on the 18th, on the 17th. So then what I'm going to do, put in, you type in the name of the hotel. Okay. And it, I'm going to type in our, our names. Oh, I forgot my, I forgot my name, so I have my customers. Oh, that's not good, Linda. I'm to know it's George. I can't remember the first name, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make them up. Uh, Mary George. Email address. You would put, I would suggest you put your email address, okay? Because you're gonna be put, uh, printing out the vouchers. I'm just gonna put mine. And then you're, this is where you, I would suggest you put your customer's mobile number. The reason I'm saying that is because um, if there's some reason they're running late and the, uh, the, the tour operator needs to be able to get hold of them and say, are you still coming? Something like that. Or there's a last minute uh, cancellation of the event or the activity due to weather, um, then you'd, they want to be able to contact your customer. So that's what you'd put in here. So, excuse me if the names are different, but you'll get the gist of what I'm trying to say. So I'm adding it to my tin, right? Okay, now, here it goes. So now, here is my attraction, or activity. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, Walter George. Oh, I, I can't remember. And Mary George, great. Okay, so now here we are. So we, now I have an activity. But my customers may want a transfer as well. So let's let's go ahead and add a transfer to this booking. So we want to add a transfer to this hotel. Again, transfers are going to pay the 10% commission. So the pickup loop is going to be the Cosmel Airport. There it is. You can see it's the already knew the Occidental Grand Cosmel because being added to your itinerary. See, very simply, it's a, uh, they're arriving on the 15th, the day they're checking in. It assumes 12 p.m. local time. If you needed to change that, you would just click on it, and then you. I'm going to scroll down so you can see, and you would change the time. So let's say 1 p.m. Okay, one. Oops. 
it's going to be in International Day 4, so 1 p.m. is 13, 1300. To adults, search transfers. I didn't say that, that's why it's going back to 12. Okay, you, our, our rates are from our shuttle transfer is 28.25, this is USD of course. Um, if you want to take a shuttle transfer, and there's more information here, but if they want a private transfer, and they wanted to do it that way, it would be uh, $34.88 per person. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. They rather have a private transfer. Transfer. They're going, it's a honeymoon. They're going to a five-star property. They wanna have a private transfer. So I'm gonna book that. Hey, Linda. Knows the name? Yes. Um, what do our points equate to in credits towards something for us? Oh, the rewards points? Yes. So the, so the rewards points are every time you make a booking on room rest, whether it be uh, a hotel, a transfer, or an activity, what's going to happen is you're going to be earn rewards points. So for, uh, in this case, let me see if it shows you how many, it doesn't show it here, but on the, when I was booking the hotel, it showed how many reward points you would earn on that one. So everything you book, I'm gonna measure earning reward points. They're gonna show in your pending file, or pending uh, rewards uh, account until the activity, the transfer, or the hotel stays completed. Then they move over to available to use. And for you to use them, it's very simple. If I was using them, let's say towards uh, for myself, if I made a booking on room rest for a hotel for myself, when I go to check out or pay for the booking, it would say I have fifty dollars in reward points. Do you want to use all of them or part of them? And at that point, you can select or none. You don't have to use any. So you would just say I want to use twenty-five dollars. It's deducted from the price, the total price, and you just you pay the the net or the total price of the price less $25. If you want to use it for your customers, you can use them. For your family, friends, it doesn't matter who you use your reward points for. Okay? Um, yeah, perfect. And then one more question regarding that, Linda. Is it like 50 cents on a point or 10 cents on a point, etc.? Right. I want, yes, it is. And so what, what I want everyone to do when they get a chance is to go into rewards and read the how to accrue them under the FAQs as well as the terms and conditions so you can see so you're comfortable with that. Perfect, thank okay. you. Yes. Okay, so I need to put my flight in. I'm just gonna make flights up. And this is a, this is what I wanna, uh, in the, and I'm having my team work on this, so I want you to see this, because this can be, uh, you have to go all the way down, and I have a hard time sometimes finding it as well, for the U.S. Um, so there it is, it's under Zimbabwe, and uh, don't ask me why, but it is. So I, I'm working on that to try to get, um, no, I didn't mean, okay, I'm just gonna take from Miami. Okay, okay, and I'm gonna add it to my itinerary. Whoops, add to my itinerary. You can see, I should tell you, you have three suitcases. This is three large suitcases, and a 40 minute transfer is the time for the transfer. Okay, so here's my itinerary. Everything's there. If I was doing, let's say, pre and post cruise, this is an example of both, if you're, you could have multiple hotels on here as well, as many as you want. Now remember, I've not hold, held anything, I've not um, confirmed anything. What I'm doing is just putting an itinerary together so I can send to my client. At that point, once I have everything there, I can create a custom customer quote, okay? And when you do that, you're just going to click on create customer quote. Whoops, I need to. And you can, here you're gonna put in the total price. This 1570.46, is actually the price of the transfer, the activity or attraction, and the hotel. So you're gonna type that in there. If you, I would recommend you wanna show your customer what the rates are. You don't have to put no, it wouldn't show, okay? But you can do that. Would you like, we, you're never gonna add price uh, prices to us, so you're gonna leave that no. Would you like to extend notes about, extend notes about loca hotel location, rate inclusions for each hotel? 
yes. You want to know, have them know it's all inclusive. You want to know where the hotel is located. All that will print. Would you like to include cancellation policy where it's non-refundable? Always type yes. This is not non-refundable, but if it was. And would you like to add notes to your cus for your customer at the bottom of the code? Quote. So here it is. You can type whatever you'd like here. Um, I highly recommend this um, this hotel transfer and activity or whatever you wanted to type um, and then your name or however you'd like to because when you what's going to happen next is when you go to and all you're going to do is click submit here okay now if you can see that let me see if I can scroll down so you can see there you go. create PDF you're going to create the PDF it's going to pop up and then what's going to happen is You'll download it and email it to your customer. And for those of you that were on our last um, training session a couple weeks ago, I told you we have an exciting new feature coming up. It won't be a PDF. You're going to be able to actually email it right from here. You'll have a unique URL for each of your itineraries you create that you'll be able to send to your customers. It'll have all the pictures of the property, have all that information, and you'll be able to interact with your customers through that customize URL for your itinerary. So that now when I, uh, it'll be, we're looking at two to three weeks for that to come live. So as soon as that does, I'll make sure everyone knows about it. Right now though, this is a great tool, easy to do, create the PDF and email it off. I'm not going to create it, but what I am gonna do is go back and I'm gonna go back to the top of my homepage and I'm gonna to go to my unpaid bookings and itineraries. And I'm gonna to go to draft itineraries. It should, I should have two itineraries because I created one earlier today. So um, here's one I created earlier today from, from Mr. Williams. I'm gonna show you that one. So this is one I created earlier today at the Iberia Star. And what I wanna show you here is, it's all inclusive, the rates, cancellation, but this is where I'm going to, I had created a Jeep experience for them as well. What I'm going to do here though is I want to show you our new duplicator. This is a great tool. So this will create it. I have, there's two couples traveling together, but not traveling together, but you have another customer um, that is a couple and they're looking at going, uh, they want the same package, but perhaps a different day. Or maybe they want the same day. Maybe it is two couples traveling together. All you need to do is click the duplicator. This is brand new. It will keep the same date if you're look if your couple the other couple wants to travel the same date, or maybe there's a new date they want. So we're going to put in there. They're going to go on the 13th of December. Okay, you put in the name. So this is going to be um, Matthew Simon. Email address. Again, I just asked, put your own email address here. Second is your second guest, Ms. Uh, Rita Simon. Booking day, 16th of December. Okay, so the reason it picks this day is because this is the, the experience with the Jeep. Why, when I wanted the 13th up here, the reason it picks the 16th is because if you remember the previous one um, we were doing for the Georges, it was it was a couple days after they arrived. So it assumes you want a couple days after you arrive for this couple. You can change this if you want, or you don't need to, but you can change it if you want. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna start building the itinerary, very simple. I'm cloning it in other words. Here we go. Now, so I'm look, remember I'm booking a week later for this couple. I have options. I can take the same rate, which was a double near the pool, including breakfast, flexible, blah, blah, blah. Or I can do a run of the house room. If you don't know what run of the house is, they assign the room when your, when your customers get there. That's $428 all inclusive. I can do a room standard room for $328 all inclusive or even a double standard, non-refundable though, so make sure you see that, um, for $247 less. So you have options here. So you can book the identical same 
property, same room type, everything the same. This is just the room now. Or I, my couple, maybe this couple doesn't want a room near the pool. They don't really care. So they're just going to, they're going to go all inclusive, but they want a standard room. They don't need you to be near the pool. So what I do is I just click this, select. Did I build build my cherry? My mistake. It's submitting. Now what's going to come up is my. Um, you'll see right here, king bed. Matthew Simon. We want a king bed. Rita Simon. Contact. Everything's built in there for you. So all I need to do is create my itinerary. And I really said, when you get a chance, play with this. Um, because it's a great tool. If you have, so maybe you do some small business travel. This is great if your customers are going back and forth or are traveling or uh, the same place all the time, use that. Or if you have a small group that's traveling and you're doing a pre and post cruise, use the duplicator. You don't have to do all the work all over again. You know this is what they're doing. So this is a great tool. So now we've created a booking for the Simons. There's my attraction everything's there so I do all I have to do and if you go back I'm going to go back and show you again unpaid bookings and itineraries and draft itineraries and oh, people have been, so I'm going to go back here and you have two we have two Iberia stars so I'm going to pick this one and here at this point I have several options again I can send a quote to my customer which I showed you how to do could add another transfer maybe back from this hotel to the airport you could do that as well add another attraction if you wanted to um or what i always suggest is okay so your customers receive their quote they like everything they see so now we want but they're not ready to pay for a couple days go ahead and hold and pay later if it's and again these are both these are flexible bookings um, rates we're booking. So you could hold and pay later. Go ahead and hold and pay later this booking. Because now you're guaranteeing the room, the rate, the, the activity for 72 hours. Very simple. All you do is hold and pay later. And I'm going to do that right now. Let's make sure nothing is. Amanda, while I was thinking, uh, work, searching through, do you have any, is there any questions I can answer? Yeah, um, we had a question earlier. Um, can you um, filter the hotels by lowest price to highest price? Yes, right. Well, I'm going to, I'll do that while I come back to this hole. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, I don't need this. So if I did, let's just say we were going to Las Vegas, okay? I'm going to make this very simple. Okay, whoops. Oh, okay, so let me go back. I'm gonna go back and I'm going to go to home. I'm gonna put in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. And when you put it type type in Las Vegas, you'll see there's different areas. So we're gonna go to the strip. And I'm gonna pick a date and let's just do eight and nine search it's on the strip we're looking for Las Vegas on the strip one night two people okay so then what happens is you can do by recommended Caesar's Palace is the recommended with the great rate you can do low to high $21 whoa at the link, <laughs> okay. If your customers went online uh, to booking.com or a major OTA, they'd have to pay $41. You're, you could book for $21 for the one night, including tax. Um, and then, so you see, Amanda, that everything is low to high. Wow, that's okay? pretty cool. You can also do mapping. So if there's a specific part of the strip you want to, to book on for your customers, maybe they want to, you can click on mapping. And you can drill down to the street level. So I'll show you here. 
Here's all of them. So I'm gonna, you could, there's 20 properties, but you can see how you can drill all the way down. You can do it that way as well. Oh, perfect, cool. Um, we had another question too. If the price changes while on hold, will the system update the new price when you go to pull it up again? No, that's a great question. When you have a booking on hold, the rate you held, um, generally rates are going up, especially as we get into high season with, uh, even with, with COVID, um, the rates are going up during the holidays and winter, winter uh, break, spring, uh, winter and spring break actually. So you're guaranteed that rate. So if you booked a $21 rate, let's use this as an example, and you held that rate, then what's going to happen is, and tomorrow goes up to $24. You're guaranteed that $21 for 72 hours, so you don't need to worry about it. If perchance the rate does, because you see a lower rate, go ahead and book that, hold that, um, and then the hold you had for the, let's say this went down, $21 went down to, to $12, or <laughs> it's hard to believe, but $12. Then go ahead and book the $12, the $21 you held, will automatically fall off after 72 hours. You don't even need to cancel it, it'll fall off. That's a big important thing. If you're holding a booking, because we're getting a lot of questions about this, you don't need to cancel your held bookings if you don't need them. So just leave them there and they'll fall off automatically, whether it be an activity, transfer, or a hotel. Any other, what are the, any other questions, Amanda? Um, doesn't look like we have any other questions now. Okay. Jose, how I'm about here. you? I'm here. I just want to tell, you know, the people there in the room, now listen, if you're running into an issue and you're working on a room booking and stuff, you, you don't need to call Linda. You know, there is support for you guys, okay? And they have really, really good support. So if you're having a question and you're working through a booking and, and you just don't understand this tab or that tab, or you're like, yeah, I, I, or if I'm having an issue with, you know, I wanna hold it, um, uh, I wanna hold it for three days and it's not taking it, here's your support. Use this, you know, use this right, because so they will help you. <clears throat> So exactly. So my my team, myself, uh, my my team, I shall say, is in the U.S. We're here from 7:30 a.m. Eastern time to 7:30 p.m. Eastern time. After that, the calls roll over to our my Australia team, who are very knowledgeable on the product and on your account, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, but and so, but. Again, as Jose said, you're welcome to, and I really highly, they're very well skilled, my team, and, and trained on not only the system, more, but more importantly, just as important, I should say, on the Archer account, so you don't need to worry about that. So it, thanks for bringing that up, uh, Jose, because that's important. I also received, um, have received a couple of inquiries about groups. Um, if you have a small group, maybe under uh, 20 rooms or so, and you want to book it, or you're thinking about booking on room res, that's an important time to give us, that's when I suggest you pick up the phone and call us during business hours, so we can try to help you with that. The difference from room res though in a traditional group booking site, you do need to pay for the booking up front or after the 70 hours if you're holding it, because um, we can't make payments if you will, so keep that in mind. But if you have a small group, maybe it's a wedding party, they're gonna, you know, something like that, and um, or you wanna do that, then go ahead and do it. give us a call and we'll help you if you can't, if you're not able to do it on your own. That's why we're here. We're here to support you. Um, and answer, if you can't find a property, because we get those questions a lot, because we have 500, over 500,000 properties, all you need to do is give us a call or email us and let us know We'll help you find it. If we don't have it, we're gonna tell you the truth. Um, I'll give you a good example. Um, there is an archer, one of your uh, fellow archer agents who's thinking about booking a um, small group. And she was looking for a specific uh, property and a specific room type. She reached out. She said, oh, I don't see it on your site. Well, and she had the square footage of the room, those sort of things she wanted. 
Well, we do have it. We just had it listed a different way. So what we did was we sh took screenshots, sent it to her, so she has it. So now she's going back to her customers and seeing if they want to book it. And it was a small group. So um, we do have things that sometimes maybe if you're used to using another system or another site, it might be displayed a bit differently, but doesn't mean we don't have it. So I want you to do that. And remember, there's no questioning about, am I gonna make X amount or this amount? You, you're across the boards, you know you're gonna make 10% on all your bookings with room risk. Hey Linda, I have a question. Um, sure. I, I've been talking to, uh, in my trainings and in the morning briefing report about inventory being really, really an important facet of travel for the next three to four months. Because as you oh, know, yes. in Orlando is only 30% in the resorts and the hotels. You know, Mexico's at 30% in the all-inclusives. Have you guys noticed anything like that? Are, are properties selling out during the holidays? They are, you, you, Jose, they are. Um, and it definitely even, even more so over the last 10 days. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that inventory is being, uh, it's just selling out because there's, because of COVID, there's less rooms available to begin with, right, because of COVID. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the hotel staffing has been, you know, reduced. Mm -hmm. So um, they, just, it's really, I, I can only say to you, if you have customers that are thinking about going somewhere in the, over the next three to four months, from mid, actually from mid October, well, I say November, really starting November, all the way through March, you really need to be looking now, I'm booking now, um, because there may not be inventory or rates available or rooms available when you go to book them. And the other thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna see that not only will there not be rooms available, if they are available, rates are gonna go up. Yep. You know, the demand is there, but rates are gonna go up there. And I've already seen that. I really have seen it. The only place I honestly have not seen it, except over just let's say between Christmas and New Year's, I've seen it, is Las Vegas, the rates have been, you know, are keeping, you know, uh, pretty low. But even that during the Christmas, you know, New Year's time period, whoa, they're going way up. Same with Super Bowl time period, right? If you're coming to Tampa, or your customers are thinking about coming to Tampa for the Super Bowl, or the festivities here in Tampa, which is where we're based, um, rates are really high. Same with Vegas during that time frame. Big time frame for, yeah. you know, everyone go to, to Vegas and party during the Super Bowl time. Get the, I know it sounds crazy, but you need to book them now. Right. We right. did have one more question, Linda. Um, how close can you book uh, to a travel date? How close, like, um, could I book something tomorrow or how many days ahead of time? Uh, uh, how close can I'm you really book? glad you asked yes, that, Amanda. I really am. So, um, on room rest, you can book um, not something for tomorrow. No, you cannot book. You can book three days out. Okay, perfect. And then, and then there's. Great question. Another. Well, Linda, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, you know, I, I, want, I want to bring you back when we go into, uh, you know, uh, wave season and uh, when, when we start booking, oh, no, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm over here now, uh, when we start booking on cruises in wave season because hopefully by then the cruises will be happening and people are going to have to book a pre and a post night. You know, and they really is right. If, you, if they have more, um, you know, then if the, and I'm sure you'll be booking a lot of cruises. I know that your agents will be, I should say. And if you're booking, getting back and booking a lot of, say, Carnival Cruise, um, a lot of Carnival Cruises, which a lot of your customers will be booking, you might want to, you'll want to use that duplicator because it'll be simple. You know where they're going to stay at Great. pre cruise and just click. Duplicator, click duplicator, click duplicator, and then it's going to be simple, and you'll be able to get the great rates. And um, thank you for bringing that up, Jose, because I think it's going to be a great time for for to uh, use the duplicator and um, play. It. But in the meantime, I want you to play around with the duplicator and get it, get your handle on what, how it works. But it's very simple. Okay, great. And thank and you, you know Jose. What? Thank you, everybody. We we love to have you come back again. You know, uh, next month uh, or maybe at the end of this month, we'll bring you back. Okay, talk a little bit more about holiday, uh, you know, bookings because that's when people are all of a sudden, you know, it's like end of October. They go, oh yeah, we got to go to grandma's, you know, and I need a hotel, but you know that kind of thing. Hopefully, there'll be inventory. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Linda. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Thank right, you. you Thank, Thank you, Linda. All right, you guys. Listen. Bye. Bye. That's it for today. Um, have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow the morning briefing is going to be at 9.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day. Adios.
Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>